Hello students. In our previous video of synthetic fibers and plastic, we have learned about different types of plastic and polymerization. Now let's move ahead with synthetic fibers. In this session, we are going to learn about different types of synthetic fibers. So we'll see the properties and the uses of synthetic fibers like rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Now first we will learn about rayon. Rayon is the first man-made fiber. It is a synthetic fiber which is prepared from wood pulp. Since the raw material used for this fiber is wood which is a natural resource, we call it as a semi-synthetic or regenerated fiber. Now let's see how rayon is manufactured. To make rayon fiber, the wood from trees is shredded into fine particles and it is cooked with caustic soda which is sodium hydroxide. After cooking it with sodium hydroxide, it is converted into sheets of wood pulp. This is known as alkali cellulose. Now these wood pulp sheets, they are again shredded and mixed with carbon disulfide, CS2. The mixture thus obtained is then dissolved in caustic soda and we prepare a solution called viscose. This viscous solution is then passed through spinnerets. The spinnerets are like shower heads which have tiny pores and convert the viscous into fiber. And these fibers are dipped in acid bath which is filled with sulfuric acid. This makes the fiber hard. And finally, these fibers would be spun and we can make fabric out of it. Now let's see the properties of rayon. Rayon is a very soft, cool and comfortable fabric. It has very good absorbent properties. And thus we can use it comfortably in summers as it would absorb the sweat. Rayon has a luster which makes it look like silk. So we also call it artificial silk. Rayon can replicate the feel and texture of various natural fibers like silk, cotton, linen, and wool. And rayon can be easily dyed in various colors. Now let's see what are the uses of rayon. Rayon is used in textile industry for making fabrics like saris, trousers, shirts, etc. It can be mixed with cotton to make bed sheets, dresses, aprons, curtains, and other furnishing items. Rayon can also be mixed with wool to make beautiful carpets. It is used to make tire cords. It is also used to make bandages and lint for surgical dressing of wounds. Now let's move on to the next fiber that is nylon. Nylon is the first fully synthetic fiber as the raw material also is prepared in industry. So we call it as a fully synthetic fiber. Nylon 
got its name from the first letter of the cities where it was first developed simultaneously. These cities are New York and London. So NY from New York and LON from London makes the word nylon. Nylon fiber is prepared by the polymerization of large number of amide molecules. So these amide are nitrogen compounds which are the monomers for nylon and by making a polymer out of it we make nylon and so it is also known as polyamide. Now let's see what are the properties of nylon. Nylon is a very strong fiber. So it doesn't break easily. Nylon is lustrous, that is, it has got shine. It is highly elastic and is light in weight. It is very easy to wash nylon cloths and these cloths are wrinkle free. Nylon doesn't absorb water and it is not attacked by insects like fungi, moth, etc. And nylon is insoluble in most of the common solvents. Nylon is a versatile fiber. It has got many uses. Let's see what are the uses of nylon. So like all other fibers, it is used in production of textiles like sari, shirts, socks, etc. Nylon can also be blended with wool to make suits, socks, carpets, etc. It is also used for making fishing nets and climbing ropes, parachute fabrics as it has got high tensile strength. Just now I have told you that nylon is very strong. That's why we use it for all these purposes. Nylon is also used to make the strings of sports racket like your tennis or badminton racket, they have got nylon strings and also for musical instruments. It is also used to make the bristles of your toothbrushes and paint brushes. Nylon is also used to make the parts of machines such as washers, pulleys, etc. You can see here in the picture. Now let's see another commonly used synthetic fiber that is polyester. Polyester is a synthetic fiber made up of repeating units of a chemical called ester. This ester are organic chemicals which gives fruity smell. Some of the examples of polyester are terrylene, terrine and decron. The terrylene fiber when blended with cotton makes a fiber known as terricot. Similarly, the terrylene can be blended with wool to form terry wool. You must have seen pet bottles, which is known as polythene terephthalate. This is also a form of polyester. This pet is used to make the bottles, containers, films and wires 
You can see here these bottles which we use for storing cold drinks of water. These are made up of PET which is polyethylene terephthalate and it is also a form of polyester. Now let's see the properties of polyester. Polyester is a light, strong and elastic fiber. It absorbs very little amount of water. It dries very quickly after washing. It is also wrinkle free. And polyester can be drawn into very thin fibers which can be woven like any other yarn. So most of the properties of polyester are same as that of the nylon. Now let's see the uses of polyester. Polyester fibers are used in the manufacturing of various textiles like saris, dress materials, curtains, etc. It is used to make the sails of the sailboat. So you can see here in the picture these sails for the sailboats are made of polyester. Polyester is also used for making these water hoses which are used in firefighting operation. So you must have seen in the fire brigades they have long water pipes. These water pipes they are made of polyester fiber. Polyester is used to make these conveyor belts. You must have seen such conveyor belts in on the airport or in some industries. So these conveyor belts are also made of polyester. Polyester just now we have seen can be blended with cotton to make terracot. So it is used to make shirts, trouser and other dress materials. And the terry wool is used to make suits and other woolen cloths. Now next comes the acrylic fiber. Acrylic fiber is a synthetic fiber which is made from a polymer known as polyacrylonitrile. So polyacrylonitrile is a polymer which is obtained by polymerization of large number of acrylonitrile molecules and these acrylonitrile molecules are obtained from petroleum. So we can say the monomer for acrylic fiber is acrylonitrile. Now let's see what are the properties of acrylic fiber. Acrylic fiber is light in weight. One of the important property of acrylic fiber is that it is warm like wool. So it feels like wool. Acrylic fiber can be dyed with different colors. Though it feels like wool but it is quite cheaper than the actual wool. That's why acrylic is used to make sweaters, shawl, jackets, blankets, cushions, etc. So children, now you can write the answers of the following questions on the basis of knowledge which we have gained in this video. Thank you children. That's all for the today's session.